बसमीम रिस्पेक्ट सुनने वालों जैसे कि आप लोगों को मालूम है कि आप लोगों की रहनमाई के लिए मैच एक सिलसिला शुरू किया हुआ है और आज के सिलसिले का टॉपिक है ए टैक्सिया ये छोटे छोटे टॉपिक्स हैं जो कि शॉर्ट केसेस के लिए मैंने एक स्कीम आपको दे रहा हूँ और जैसे मैं आपको पहले बता चुका हूँ कि आज के सिलसिले का टॉपिक है ए टैक्सिया एक इम्पॉर्टेंट एग्जामिनेशन है और शॉर्ट केस में आ सकता है इसमें आपको कमांड मिल सकती है कि दिस चाइल्ड हैज़ अब नॉर्मल गेट प्लीज चेक द गेट एंड रेलिवेंट या आपको ये भी कमांड आ सकती है कि एग्जाम इन द लोअर लेम्स एंड रेलिवेंट सो कमांड कोई भी आ सकती है तो अगर गेट हो तो स्टार्ट आपने गेट से करना है और अगर लोअर लेम हो तो लोअर लेम और गेट पर जाना है ठीक है तो इंट्रोडक्शन और कॉन्सेंट फिर एक्सपोजर आइडली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वेदर आपने शॉर्ट्स में करना है फिर उसके बाद आपने देखना है कि सिक लुक है या वेल है न्यूट्रिशनल स्टेटस कैसा है रिस्पायरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस और साइनोसिस एड्रेस तो नहीं है डिसमॉर्फिक और डायग्नोस्टिक फीचर्स हैं फिर आपने गेट को चेक करना है गेट को चेक करने के लिए आपको थोड़ा सा हल्का सा बताता चलूँ कि गेट के नॉर्मल साइकिल्स कैसे हैं कि सबसे पहले हील स्ट्राइक है फिर उसके बाद टो ऑफ होती है ग्रीन वाले को देखिएगा फिर मेंटेनेंस है फिर उसके बाद हील स्ट्राइक होती है फिर टो ऑफ होती है फिर ही स्ट्राइक होती है तो इसके जो फेसेस हैं गेट के जो कैड एंड स्टांस फेस है वो आप अपनी बुक में से भी पढ़ सकते हैं तो आपने सबसे पहले जब एग्जामिन करना है गेट तो पहले उस बंदे को या बच्चे को आपने चलाना है ठीक है पहले उसको सीधा अपने सामने से चलाना है फिर बैक से चलाना है तो फ्रॉम फ्रंट टू ऑन स्ट्रेट लाइन दे विल बी हाई स्टेपिंग गेट और ए टैक्सी गेट हाई स्टेपिंग में उसका जो फर्स्ट फोट होगा वो उसको ऊंचा उठाएगा एंड देन विल बी स्कैनिंग वाइल पुटिंग इट डाउन उसके बाद आपने उसको टिप टू हील फॉग और रिवर्स फॉग ये बो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू लुक फॉर हैवी प्लेज देन स्टैंड एंड वन फोट देन यू हैव टू टेक द रॉम चेक द रॉम बक्स इट इज पॉजिटिव इन फ्राइचिक्स हाउस यू लिवाई नेगेटिव इन सारे बैलरेटेक्सिया then you ask the patient to touch toes check for the scoliosis then the squatting for the gower sign so this is the normal example the child will be walking on the tip toes this is how the normal child can walk on the heels so this is a heel walking this is a fog test in the fog test the the child or the patient starts Uh, with the heels uh, pointed inwards, uh, or lifting the heels inward up, and it in in the the reverse of it is the reverse fork test in which the medial end of the heel is put inside and the lateral is put. This is uh, to check the settle uh, hemiplegia. This is the Romberg test because the balance is maintained from the proprioception from the lateral, then it is uh, the uh, Uh, the long tight sign then it is the cerebellum then in the eyes so first if there is a issue with the cerebellum the patient patient will not be able to stand with the eyes open so when you tell the patient to touch toes you have to check the scoliosis as evident and the uh, kyphosis the gower sign in the patient is having the proximal myopathy and the child is unable to walk so basically the child climbs up his body this is the pes cavus or high arch foot so after uh, the examination of the gait then you do the motor examination look this all has been done while the child was standing or on the uh, uh, on the floor when you make the child sleep on the couch then you have to then you check the bulk and tone quickly then power in detail to assess peripheral neuropathy you have to check the reflexes in dystrophy knee reflex go early while ankle go later while in neuropathy it is like from the peripheral so ankle reflex go earlier than the knee reflex then you check the plantars the plantars will be up going in the fetus detects your vitamin b12 deficiency tethered cord and they will be absent in rausel levi Your hot muddy tooth disease, pes cavus, and the palpable nerves are present in frontal ataxia, heritable sensor motor neuropathy, and sharp coat muddy tooth. Then you have to check the sensations, position, proprioception. Then you have to check the eyes for nystagmus, telangiectasias, vitamin A deficiency, 
then you have to do the finger nose test this is this diadocinasia heel knee shin test signs of cerebellar dysfunction for coordination if ready ataxia then mark ataxia with cerebellar signs positive and pass cavus apex beat in scoliosis signs of rickett and bruises check height weight for a beta lipoproteinemias foc is increased in rickett's blood pressure and fundoscopy offer at the end retinitis pigmentosa and a beta lipoproteinemia ask for plotting height and weight on centile chart so description this is basically i have made a personal description you can make it yourself assalamu alaikum sir or madam i have just examined 10 year old boy who is well looking adequate nourished child without any obvious respiratory distress and sinuses at rest no diagnostic or dysmorphic features the child was conscious and cooperative during my examination he was having a wide based ataxic gait and trombotic test is positive with no scoliosis or kyphosis the tone is normal power is 4 by 5 the ankle reflexes are absent and there is upgoing plantus with pes cavus there are normal sensations there is a lack of coordination as he was unable to perform finger nose and heel shin test there is no nystagmus telangiectasia apex beat was palpable in fifth intercostal space there was no petechiae bruises and no signs of micronutrient that is vitamin a d c e and k deficiency i want to take blood pressure do fundoscopy and height weight and plot them on centile charts based on my examination my most likely diagnosis is so the differential diagnosis so you have to see whether the rhombox is present positive or rhombox sign is absent if the rhombox sign is present it can be due to frigid ataxia rousey levi vitamin b12 deficiency ataxia telangiectasia a beta lipoproteinemia while the rhombox is absent in acute cerebellar ataxia that occurs one to two week after virus l infection echo and coxsackie virus cerebellar tumors astrocytoma medulloblastoma cerebellar abscess drugs such as phenytoin and thallium a shortly little things about the frigid ataxia this is because of fret fretex in gene mutation on chromosome 9 visual evoke potential brain stem auditory evoke potentials are abnormal echo and treatment is supportive like antioxidant vitamin d e coenzyme 10 then charcot marie tooth disease it is it has present with the stock legs it the patient has high stepping gait pes cavus you have to do investigate with the ncs there will be slowed conduction sural nerve biopsy is onion bulb malformation very typical So treatment is ankle stabilization, stiff boots, splints, ankle foot orthosis, AFOs, and carbamazepine for paresthesia. Then ataxia telangiectasia. It is due to IG2, IgG2, IgG4, IgA, IgE levels are decreased. Alpha fetoprotein levels are increased, and there is a chromosomal breakage studies at chromosome number fourteen. The normal levels of vitamin B12 are 200 to 850 picograms per ml. Then A beta lipoproteinemia. There are acanthocytes on peripheral film. Protein electrophoresis shows absent apoproteins. Biopsy shows lipid laden enterocytes and decreased cholesterol. It is treatment it is replaced with vitamin A, D, E, K. That is fat soluble supplementations. There should be restriction of dietary fats and give medial chain triglycerides. Then cerebellar ataxia. You have to diagnose by MRI for CFOS or tumor, and you know the surgery. For this short case, you must be able. You must have read that Friday ataxia, clinical features, signs, and treatment. Charcot Marie Tooth disease, ataxia telangiectasia, A beta lipoproteinemia, and acute cerebellar ataxia. Thank you very much for your uh, patience, listening and watching, and. Uh, I pray for you that may Allah be our helper, our guide, and our protector. Uh, please uh, like this and uh, pray for me that I may be able to do more for you. And best wishes in Allah.